Hello and welcome back to Mac Movie Review, a subset of Mac Music Review in which I talk about movies. Today specifically I'm going to be talking about and ranking the four Netflix produced Wes Anderson short films. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number four, The Rat Catcher. The Rat Catcher is the worst of the four Wes Anderson short films, in my opinion. That is to say, it's still pretty good. There's a lot going for this short film. It is probably the most comedic out of the bunch. Ralph Fiennes, or however you say his name, is giving a really great performance. Very wacky performance. Probably the weirdest thing he's ever done. He's usually a very couth and sophisticated actor and he is in these other short films but he's just a little bit unhinged and weird playing the rat man i think there is some larger commentary and there is something pretentious about it and it's trying to say something even a tad bit disturbing in the violence in this short film but i didn't get a lot out of it personally i got something out of all of the other films beyond entertainment which I think really makes the other short films pretty great, but this one was just pretty good. Number three, Poison. Poison is an extremely well-produced short film, very, extremely well-directed just in the way it conveys tension. It's also very well-acted. The cinematography in this one is especially cool. All of those shots on Benedict Cumberbatch just on his back, all of the shots where the camera will be a little bit more adventurous as it follows Dev Patel in and out of the room. Uh, all the stuff with Ben Kingsley. I mean, it's it's really just an extremely well-made short film that once again, uh, like The Rat Catcher, didn't make me feel that much. And the ending really left me scratching my head. Once again, I feel like there's some bigger picture or message or moral or something that is supposed to be conveyed by this ending. But it really just left me with a strange feeling, kind of in a good way, because I really did feel something. But I don't really know how to articulate how this short film made me feel. Number two, The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. This one really blew me away. I was extremely just hooked from the very start. Wes Anderson's signature directing style is just in full force throughout this entire short, his quirky sense of humor. It was very funny. Um, I said the rat catcher might be the funniest one. I would say that that one is the most comedic in tone, probably. But I would say that the wonderful story of Henry Sugar made me laugh a lot more. I think Benedict Cumberbatch was fantastic. Everybody is shouting out Dev Patel's performance. I think he is really amazing. Ben Kingsley was great. Ralph Fiennes was great. Everybody involved did a fantastic job. It's visually just wonderful. It's amazing. Um, and it also has a very effective and emotional core to the story. It really feels like Wes Anderson in top form in storytelling in every other aspect. Humor, the storytelling, the cinematography, the set design, the acting. I mean, everything about it was just, it just screamed Wes Anderson at his absolute best. Number one, The Swan. I said that the wonderful story of Henry Sugar blew me away, but it, it did not prepare me for the reaction that I was going to have to The Swan. The Swan is really fantastic. Um, it's an extremely affecting piece of work. It's extremely moving. It's extremely powerful. I think it's even chilling. One of the darkest things that Wes Anderson has ever made. I mean, I think it gives the Royal Tenenbaums a run for its money in terms of the subject matter being tackled. Um, some of the best sequences, the sequence with the train, I mean, I was hooked from beginning to end. Everything that happened in the tree, that last shot, the fact that this is based on a true story, based on a real article that was written of a real event, everything about this just kind of hit me with the force of a giant, fast-moving freight train. And um, I think it's the best thing that Wes Anderson has ever made. As a side note, I enjoyed every single one of these shorts more than the last two Wes Anderson movies, especially Asteroid City. I thought that Asteroid City was kind of a very bad movie. Um, 
And for you to understand my thoughts and understand where I think Wes Anderson has gone off the rails in terms of his being a little bit self-indulgent, I shouldn't say a little bit, being extremely self-indulgent and pretentious and frankly annoying, you should watch my friend Bradley Schumann's video um, titled, Wes Anderson isn't Wes Anderson anymore. That video will be linked in the description below. And I think he articulates the issues that I'm having with Wes Anderson now. And as a director of feature films, um, very well in that video, he articulates that very well. But fortunately, I think that Wes Anderson has reclaimed some of his magic. He's one of my favorite directors of all time. And I think these short films really show that he can have a human perspective. And maybe when he is doing these artsy, specific little short stories that he is just more effective doing short format work. Maybe he's just better at doing smaller stories. But I got more out of this than I did out of the short stories in French Dispatch. Maybe that's because that was arranged as a film and it didn't feel extremely cohesive. But when you can in, you know, individually separate the short stories, you get a complete picture with each individual film. And um, I just got a lot out of all of these, really. And, and even if I didn't get a lot out of them emotionally, I, I really enjoyed my time with every one of these shorts. That being said, um, I would encourage you to go out and make short films. I think it's a really excellent medium for storytelling. I think you can say a lot in a very little time. I think it's sometimes even more effective, um, something that these short films taught me than um, actually a full length film because you can, once again, you can say a lot with a little and you can say a lot with visual images also. Um, in any case, I'm going to watch more movies. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day.